everybody, Miss Catherine here. Today I'm going to show you how to log into Schoology. Okay, so if that's a new word for you, log in means um, on a computer or a website, putting in your personal information so that you can get to your own personal account on a website. Okay, so today we're going to find out your username, which if that's a new word for you, your username is the name that is shown on the website for you. Okay, so we're going to find your username and your password for Schoology today. Okay, now there's another website we need to do this and that is your WKU email account. So we call this your topper mail account. If you don't know your WKU email or how to find it, uh, you can look at this link right here and Miss Casey will show you how to find your WKU email, okay? But if you already know your WKU email, uh, you are ready to go. So let's get started and I will show you how to log in to Schoology. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so the first place you need to get to is this login screen, wku.edu slash it slash webmail. Alright, so quick note, remember you can only find your Schoology ID and password on this email, your topper mail email. And again, if you don't know what that is or don't know how to find it, go to the link down in the description box and Miss Casey has filmed a video to show you how you can find your topper mail uh, email. But uh, we're just going to go ahead with this video and uh, those of you who have your topper mail email account and their password, just follow along. Okay, so on this website, you need to go to the student side and click right here on topper mail login. And that will take you right here. So I know my email is katherine.crim866 at topper.wku.edu. And I know my password here. And just click enter from here. And when we get to your web, uh, your account, your email account, to find your Schoology uh, login information, you need to go to this right here. Um, as you can see, I have a few emails here in my inbox. But you guys want to go to the email that is from Schoology and it has these two words, Schoology Registration. Registration just means that you have signed up. Okay, and then click on this email. So it will show up right here. So click on Schoology Registration email and right here you have all of your information. So, for me, my login link, I can just click on this and boom, it will take me right to where I can log into Schoology. Now, I don't need that email, I need my topper mail. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, I think, is just go ahead and copy paste. So that's what I'm going to do. Copy. not click on it. Right click to copy and come over here and paste this in email or username. Alright, so that's what you need to type in every time you log into Schoology, your topper email account. Now your password right here, you haven't come up with a password, but this email has a password for you. So make sure you type in this password exactly. I would suggest just going ahead and right click and copy and paste it. 
over here. I think that's probably the easiest way. Now, you need to do this email and this password for the app as well. Um, and I would suggest writing down your email and password so you can just remember it and you can log into any computer, your home computer or the mass media computers or anything. Okay, and then after you have your email and your password, just click log in and there you are. Everything is all set up for you and it will even give you a little tour of the website. Now if you want a full video tour of this website, I have done a video on that. Everything you could possibly want to know in a video and that video is linked right there at the bottom of the screen and also in the description box. So I suggest just uh, click around, get to know the website, it will give you a little tutorial like it's doing here for me and yeah then you'll know how to use Schoology. And that's it. Now you're on Schoology. Again, if you need your WKU email, uh, look down in the description box and you'll find a link. If you're not sure how to use Schoology or what it is, I did a basic overview of both the website and the app in a video, which is also down in the description box. Okay? So, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment and we'll try to get to it, okay? Have a great day and we'll see you soon.